Well, this is the Martin Research Mic 2 computer, first available in 1975. This uh, computer uses the 8008, the Mic 2. The Mic 3 uh, uses the 8080, the 8080. Uh, this computer uh, sold initially for about $270 in kit form for the CPU board, and the me memory board is about $165. So, kind of expensive in those days. Packaging very simple, just the boards just stacked together. Uh, this computer was obviously used. It has an interface cable out here. I don't know where it went, but it went to some instrument or something. And we can tell the computer was used because if you look at the keys, you'll see that uh, they wrote on here, write, read, load H, load L, and start. Those are some uh, commands to use the computer. So this computer was built and used. consists primarily of three cards. The um, 20 switch or keypad, 7 segment display, uh, and then the CPU card, the memory card, and this lower card down here is a custom interface card. We're going to look closer at all of these cards. But this was a really, I would say, a quite a good attempt in 1975 because there were no models to go by. This was very early in the microcomputer game to build a little computer using the 8008 that could be used as a microcontroller or other computer for use as a um, well whatever you'd want to use a computer for. At least an 8-bit microcomputer. It uh, is one that I purchased in 1979 and had in my office at Virginia Tech for uh, many years till I retired. So I've had this computer in my collection a long time. Well, let's take a look at um, some of the cards uh, closer. The CPU board. Got an 8008 CPU. Here's that 8008 CPU. Control circuitry for the uh, CPU board. Well, here's the memory board. For the Martin Mic 2. Some 2112s RAM memory, 1K of RAM memory, and two 1702As for the EEPROM memory. They're each 256 words, so it was a half a K or 512 bytes of EEPROM. That was the first EEPROM, the 1702A. Really made uh, microprocessors and microcomputers. Very functional, where you could write your program and modify it and eventually end up with it in effectively a ROM, read-only memory, or EEPROM. Well, here's the way that the boards are tied together. Functionally, these multi-pin connectors are connected with this uh, ribbon cable where all the wires are in parallel and this is plugged in to these connectors plugging them all into parallel connecting the boards together and the other end of this went out to some kind of instrument or something has been cut off we don't know just where it went but tied all the boards together as a operating unit